this is an uh, art artistic representation of uh, uh, the Cincinnati official fossil. It's uh, an Idrio asteroid called Isorophus cincinnatiensis, and it's uh, made out of wild cherry. It's made of the shape, general shape made by uh, turning on a wood lathe and then uh, various carving tools to carve the arms and the plates on the arms were made uh, using wood burning or pyrography. It's a kind of an arst artistic representation of an inflated Edrio asteroid. These were critters that used to live on the ocean bottom 450 million years ago when Cincinnati was underwater. And how long did this take you to make? Oh, about two and a half weeks. So fairly intense work. This is just beautiful. For paleo art, I want to, so everybody listening knows, this is probably the only one like this in the world. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful <laughs> scarp, beautiful sculpture. And, uh, and it looks just, looks just like the fossil. Amazing. So this was burnt in, burnt in with the wood burn. Car carving carved in two. Okay. Amazing. Look at the side view again. Is that carved? Mm-hmm. Made out of wood. And what is it, cherry? Uh, the individual pieces were. Um, were they done? The individual pieces were done separately, right? Uh, no. 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 It's uh, except for the the cap. This is all one solid piece here, mm. and it's been carved down after the original turning. And then this piece was carved to go on top. You did that? I did. Oh, wow. You're quite a craftsman. Thank you. Oh, okay, wood burning. Is that, I heard, heard you mention that. Is that yeah, this is that's how the uh, pyrography, that's how the plates color. were made up in here, yeah. And, oh, and yeah, the tinting, gotcha. tinting around the plates was done with pyrography as well. Yeah, once I get going on it, sometimes I'd be working, for, uh, you know, I'd start working on it at 10 o'clock in the morning and I'd work on it for a couple of hours and then I'd stop and I'd go do something else and I'd come back and I'd still be working on it at 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> it gets to be a fairly intense progress process for a while.